Hello again, dear students. I'm really sorry sort of about the interruption of the lecture. Um, it was out of control. So uh, this part is the second part of the uh, lecture, which is uh, concerned to the audio lingual method. So uh, as far as I remember, the last part I've talked about in the first part of this lecture was the uh, importance of accuracy over the fluency. So accuracy is uh, more important than fluency. Learners should produce the language or the sentences uh, accurately rather than fluently. And then comes the giving uh, learners a few opportunities to produce errors which are seen as potentially uh, contagious. Contagious means to uh, So that's why they uh, don't give opportunities for mistakes. So that's why uh, I've just tried that uh, in Arabic in order to make the idea uh, more clear. So, uh, as you can see, accuracy of fluency, grammar is a pri prioritized over uh, vocabulary as well. And uh, ultimately, the learner will speak automatically. What does that mean? The, uh, the learner will speak automatically. It means that after repeating the same sentence again and again, he will become like a machine, just repeating the uh, same sentence or the same pattern he uh, practiced a lot. So he practiced by repeating the same sentence again and again, and then he uh, automatically say the sentence without thinking about its structure or about uh, its construction, okay? So uh, this is the, the idea or the main idea or the base on which this uh, method is based, okay? Let the learners repeat the same sentences, the same patterns of sentences, until they become like uh, machines. They repeat and say the same sentences automatically without thinking. They just produce them uh, without thinking. The audiolingual method has also been called the audiolingualism or the natural, uh, sorry, oral, oral approach. What does that mean? Or oral means samaya wa shafawiya. Yani yisma wa yintij nafs al-aswat al li yismaha. Yisma al-jumla wa yaita yismaha amma min al-teacher malta aw on the tape, recorded on the tape. Amma yismaha al-tasjir wa yikarrarha aw yikarrar after his teacher. So uh, this is the idea of uh, of this method, okay? It is also called the army method, as I've told you before, because it is intended to learn a great number of soldiers who were situated in different parts of the world. So the typical features of an audio lingual method lesson, when we uh, view a lesson which is conducted in the audio lingual method, we can see or find these things. For example, target language, some mother tongue. So it means that mother, ta mother tongue is uh, allowed, but not too much. Just when it is necessary, they use the uh, mother tongue to explain the meaning of, uh, for example, some difficult words, okay? Teacher centered. Also, this method is teacher-centered because the teacher is the model after which the learners uh, repeat what he is saying, okay? 
Mechanical habit formation activities with little opportunity for bad habit, as I've just explained, they repeat again and again until they become like machines, okay? Immediate reinforcement of correct responses. So correct responses are praised and uh, reinforced. Presentation of new structural patterns and vocabulary through oral repetition and memorization of scripted dialogues. So as I've uh, mentioned before, the grammar is not uh, taught explicitly in this method, but uh, within the patterns of sentences, they are practicing. Autonomous structure, if you do it, you will be يعني يستخدم هذا الستركتر اوتوماتيكلي بدون ما يفهمه من كثر التكرار لهذا الستركتر كذلك المفردات يكررها ووسائل الايضاح يفهم معناها بدون ما يستخلصها او يستخرجها من الجمله. Oral patterns drills of key structures from dialogues, uh, repetition drills, chain drills, substitution drills. So all these drills are doing the same job. They uh, uh, help students to repeat the same patterns until they uh, form a habit and start to produce them like machines. Inductive learning of grammar rules based on dialogues, no explicit grammar teaching, as you can see. So the grammar is uh, introduced in the patterns, not explicitly. Use of tapes, visual aids, and ultimately language labs. So they use the visual aids and they use the tapes to uh, as a model and the learners repeat after them. Uh, these are the means through which the students uh, can produce the uh, language as a habit or mechanically as I've just uh, explained. Reading and written work based on earlier oral work, sometimes given as homework. So the uh, importance is given to listening and speaking, and then comes the reading and uh, writing. So the uh, reading and writing comes after listening. So they, they are not going, for example, the learners are not going to read something or write something unless they have heard it before. They have practiced it before. So they first listen and speak, repeat the same thing they are uh, heard. They hear the sentence repeated again and again, and then read it or write it. So the uh, four schools of learning the language is put in order here okay the goals of the audio lingual method the audio lingual method is intended to enable students to use the target language communicatively so again to use the language not like the grammar translation method in order to succeed with this method teachers believe that students need to overlearn. What does that mean? It means that they repeat the same pattern again and again and again until they become familiar and produce it automatically or uh, like machines. So to learn how to use the language automatically without the stopping, because they uh, have formed uh, the language has habits. The students achieve this by forming the new habits, as you can see, in the target language and overcoming the old habits of the native. So they try to use uh, the new language, the target language, to express themselves automatically, like machines, uh, uh, using the target language and not the native language. The next thing, which is the role of the teachers and students. In the audio lingual method, the teacher is responsible for providing the students with a good model for imitation. So as if, 
as I have mentioned before, that the uh, this method is teacher centered, which means that the teacher is very important in this method or the role of the teacher is very important because he is the model after which the students or the learners are uh, repeating what he is saying. Okay, so the teacher uh, must say the words or the sentences accurately so that the students are going to repeat after him in a correct way because if he told them a wrong pronunciation or something that is uh, inaccurate, the learners are going to learn the same mistakes or the same incorrect forms. So the teacher uh, is important here and uh, his role is a uh, basic one. Students are imitators, so they just imitate the teacher as a model, okay? That's why the teacher is very important because the learners are going to imitate him. So he is the model and always the model must be in a perfect way. So this is the most important uh, regarding the role of the uh, teacher and the uh, learner. The way language is viewed in the audiolingual method so the view of language in the audio lingual method has been influenced by descriptive linguistics. What does that mean? Every language is seen as having its own unique system. So each language has its own unique system. The system is comprised of several different levels. For example, phonological, morphological, the Greek kilometer syntax and semantics and other branches of language and maani and miltarkib ila akhiri. Each language has its own or unique system. Okay. Each level has its own distinctive patterns. So the patterns are very important uh, in this method. Everyday speech is emphasized in the audiolingual method. Why is that? Because this method is intended to enable students or learners to use the language communicatively. And when we say that the language is used communicatively, it means that they are using everyday speech, the normal language we use every day, because it is the best way to communicate with others. Okay, so uh, as you can see, these are uh, or and this is the way the audiolingual method look at language. The emphasize areas of the language. Vocabulary is kept to a minimum. While the students are mastering the sound system and grammatical patterns. So grammatical patterns and the sound system uh, are of a great importance. But they are not learned uh, explicitly. They are given within the patterns. A grammatical pattern is not the same as a sentence. For instance, underlying the following three sentences is the same grammatical pattern. Mac called the Blue Jays one, the team practiced. All these sentences have the same structure grammatically, but they are different when we uh, say them. So there is a difference between uh, the uh, form of the sentence or the pattern and the grammatical rules used to uh, construct or form this pattern. The natural order of skills, as you can see, the natural order of skills uh, presentation is uh, adhered to listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So in this way, the language is learned in the uh, order the skills, the four skills I've told you or I've explained before. In learning the language like the child, we are uh, starting with listening, then speaking, and then comes the reading and writing. So 
this is the natural order of learning the language which is used in this method the audio lingual method using the same order of these skills the overall oral skills receive most of the attention i have explained that uh, before okay يعني الاستماع للباترن وتكراره وعادته هو هذا جوهر هذه الـ الـ the essential of this uh, method okay what students write they have first been introduced to orally so as I've uh, also mentioned before they practice uh, saying these patterns and then they read or write them uh, also, pronunciation is taught from the very beginning, which is uh, an important thing to know about this method, okay? So, uh, these are some of the techniques used uh, in the audiolingual method. But please, as I've uh, told you before, in the uh, direct method, to go and search to know something regarding these techniques please try to uh, know what are these uh, techniques and write one or two lines for each of the uh, techniques you can see on the screen go and search about them read about them and tell me what are they i i want to know from you what each of these techniques mean okay so please uh, read about them and let me know in one or two lines only no more satrain faqat tikfi shrah li aw ta'arraf li faqat ta'arif kul technique of these techniques okay so i'm going to finish and stop here in order not to make the video uh, a long one because it is the the second part of the lecture so thanks for listening and uh, see you maybe in another uh, lecture thanks again and goodbye